Hi everyone, have you ever spilled coffee on your cloth and found that as it dries, you are left with a brown color ring on the cloth? Now this is not just a messy thing, it actually helped engineers to solve a billion dollar problem. But before that, let us understand why we got that brown color ring. Think this is your cloth and when the coffee falls on it, remember it is mostly water with lot of coffee particles. Now, the drop of coffee will be in a dome kind of shape, okay, something like this. So, the edges are much thinner compared to the center. So, the water molecules at the edges evaporate more easily, more faster than the molecules of water at the center. Because molecules of the water at the center have only one way to go up like this. But molecules which are on the edge, they can go sideways and also up right so more options means it will be more easier for them to evaporate now as this edge starts losing water molecules to compensate for that you will have water from the center going out radially and as this water flows radially outwards it carries the brown particles of coffee with it and therefore as the whole thing dries up you are left with this brown color dark ring. Now this effect created problems in industries. For example, it made printed ink uneven. It messed up with medical test kits and it even damaged nanotech coatings because they wanted the particles to spread uniformly and not just run into the edges. So how did scientists fix this problem? Well, out of the many things, one thing they did was they gently heated the center part of the drop. And when they did this, the rate of evaporation between the center and the edges were more even. Before it was more uneven, right? And because of that, the flow of water from the center to the edges were stopped. And that made the distribution of the particles after it dries more even and not like coffee brown ring. And this is one classic example where a research done in a small thing can have huge application in the real world. Right?